If there's one, there's two. And if there's two, there's four. And if there's four, there's eight. And if there's eight, there are 16. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Mom Company, a place where we discuss everything mom likes. I'm Danielle, and today we are vlogging. Okay, vlogs typically don't do too well on my channel since I'm a smaller channel and I'm just starting out. Um, but I have something very exciting happening and I have to document. First of all, hold up, wait a minute. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Make sure that you never miss an upload from me. If you are a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey, welcome back. I'm glad to have you. And now, listen. I'm doing something very exciting and I have to document it. Like I need to be able to look back when I'm big time and be able to be like, this is where you came from, Danielle. This is how it started. This is what it looked like. It was crazy, but you made it. So I'm documenting, all right? I'm documenting my journey. Um, some of you know, some of you might not know. I'm an entrepreneur. I typically work in real estate. I invest in houses. I buy them. I flip them. Um, I do all the things to them. However, you know, real estate is fun. It's wonderful. I don't know that I would want to do investing on that on this scale for long term. Um, I want something where where I'm not working, I can make money in my sleep. And I've always, always wanted to open like an online store of some sort. I never knew what I would sell. Um, I never really thought about it. It's just always been in the back of my head ever since I was like a teenager because I've always been into shopping and now online shopping is just so like you have to you like you're like nobody if you don't <laughs> if you don't purchase anything online so i decided that i'm going to start an online boutique okay and i was thinking well danielle what do you like i like everything i like a lot of things it's very hard to pinpoint one thing that i like um so it took me a while to like figure out what it is that I liked. But now as an adult that is mature, now I've matured so much um, since my 20s. I'm in my 30s and, you know, you start to think about life decisions and how they've impacted you, blah, 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 blah. But anyways, I like to shop and I like to buy handbags, shoes, and accessories. I like accessories. So I am launching an accessories boutique. Who knows what it would morph into, but I'm like legit, I'm excited. Like I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm scared as hell, okay? Very nervous. And um, it took me a while to talk myself into doing it because you know, you always think about the things, um, you always think about like, what if I fail? What if nobody buys my stuff? What if, what if, what if? So if I were to stay stuck in that, mind frame or in those thoughts i would let those thoughts consume me and i would never do anything so i'm literally forcing myself to get the up and do it because if not i'll never know what could be and i know it could be amazing and when i have that feeling i get really really excited um then when i go throughout the process i get really really scared really really intimidated so it's like a hodgepodge of emotions i'm not mad at it i'm just learning to be in the moment enjoy my entrepreneurship ride i have two children so they keep me busy they're not in summer camp we are here at the house i'm working i'm still doing real estate i have a lot going on so I needed a, a way to document this. So honestly, this is more so for me than it is for you. But if you find inspiration in this, then that is like an added on bonus and I'm here for it. So let's get started. Anyways, um, I am, I don't even know. I don't even vlog that much. So pardon me if I'm holding the camera wrong or looking in the wrong direction, girl. I sold my camera also. I sold my camera, my Sony, what was it? Sony alpha 5100 i sold it to my little niece um because she's interested in photography and i wanted to purchase a new camera for my youtube videos i haven't purchased it yet the cash is still sitting in an envelope because that's just one more thing that i have to tackle and sit down i have to do my research blah hoopla blah, hoopla blah, blah, blah. so but i'm on my iphone this is what we got going on right now so we're in my office 
and this is pretty much where I work. Let me show you. This is pretty much where I work all day, every day. Um, this is London's Chromebook. These are my clothes, my handbags that I love so much. And this is just what it looks like for now. It's a, a little bit messy right now because um, I have been recording videos and I also have been doing stuff for the launch of my boutique. And then I also have been teaching London how to read and decorating. This is Slim, she's here. That's my dirty clothes basket that does not belong there. But I, when I was doing laundry, Oh, shoot. Girl, London's tooth has fallen on the floor. <laughs> Anyways, I was doing laundry, so, you know. Anyways, this is my office. And not to mention, I also have been, I've started at the gym. So, I'm in my gym clothes because at 3.45-ish, I pack the kids in the car and we head to the gym. And we go and we work. I work out. They have childcare there. I work out from 4.30 until um, 5.15 or 5.20. Yeah, 5.15. And then I come home. I cook dinner. Like, my life is very busy. I feel like I need more hours in the day. But, no, I'm just not using my hours correctly. These are files for, like, real estate stuff. That I've been working on and what I came to show you is the stuff that I'm gonna have on my boutique or have um, the supplies that I'm gonna be using that I ordered for my boutique so we are starting off small but I really I'm really into packaging so I just want to make sure that my packaging is legit because I hate receiving a janky package if I'm honest with you I'm gonna set you guys up on this box here if you hear my kids um they live here <laughs> so yeah if I'm being honest with you I don't like ordering online I've never been an online shopper let's start there I've never been a big online shopper until to be honest until Amazon started popping off and then until this uh, panorama that we were in started popping off, I was kind of forced to order online and now I just can't stop. Like I will order online and pick up at the store from the parking lot, not because I'm scared of the cooties, but just because it's just so much more convenient and I never have to leave my home. My home and being that my kids are home from camp and from school, getting them in the car girl nobody wants to do that so i just order online have it shipped to the house or i do pack them in the car and we go to the store and pick up order pick up from the parking lot but anyways when i do order online i hate receiving like janky packages it just makes the customer feel i know how i feel when i receive bomb bomb packaging that's all I'm going to say. I know how I feel when I receive nice packaging, when I, my tissue paper is folded nicely, or, you know, even if you do use a poly mailer, you package my item to where you care about it and you care about how it looks when it gets to me. So with that being said, I'm going to show you guys what I have for my packaging. Um, my online store is called The Vault, and it is a mom company, and... It's going to be, it's the first of many companies that I probably will have all umbrellaed under the mom company, if you get what I'm saying. So eventually there will be a blog, there will be, um, you know, ebook or resources. I'm thinking more so for real estate because I do that every day. Um, it's a lot. It's going to be, it's going to be big okay it's gonna be big but we're starting out with the online boutique for accessories for the fashion mom for her to feel and look her best so the name of the boutique is called the vault i don't know if you can see that there but i created i have these are my um my sticker labels for my packaging um these are two inch yeah, two inch circle labels that I ordered from onlinelabels.com and I printed them out on my freaking HP printer at home and you just peel them off like this and stick them on. This is a lifesaver. Um, you don't have to go get custom stickers made if you don't want to. If you have a printer, you know, 
do you boo like you could do it at home and then this package is full of the two inch stickers and i got two thousand labels it's a hundred sheets two thousand labels i'm think i think it was like sixteen dollars or twenty dollars or something like that um so that's one and then i've got these cute little um drawstring bags i'm going to be selling jewelry hair accessories and um bag chains that i'll show you in a few um i hand make those so i got two size of these i got a smaller size and a bigger size i think this is the this is the six by nine six by nine. these are both these are the bigger sizes these are six by nine um these are gonna hold like my hair accessories so that's going to be part of the packaging. Um, I got this pewter color because my brand colors for the vault are going to be like a brown and a natural color creams. Brown is my favorite color. Like I'm down with anything brown. I don't know why. I thought it was pink. But as I, you know, do makeup and stuff, I always reach for brown. Like brown is my shit. So I got those. I got two packs of those. Um, they came 30 in a pack. I think I ordered them from papermart.com. I will link everything that I can down below. Um, I also picked up tissue paper. So tissue paper is going to go inside of my boxes. And I got um, this is plain brown tissue paper. These are, this is closest to my brand, my brand color. I got this off Amazon and it was $10 for... I think it's a hundred sheets in here. It's really cheap. Really, really cheap. So $10 for that. And then this is what I'm really, really excited about. And I kind of splurged on this, but um I just I wanted some element of personalization to my brand or some element of branding for my brand. Like when you see that B, I need you to know that it's the vault. So I got this beautiful custom tissue paper let me open i haven't really like opened it opened it yet because i don't want to get it messed up but if you can see the paper says the vault on it it's black and white black white and brown are my brand colors so listen i'm hyped about it so when you order from the vault save your tissue paper no i'm just kidding <laughs> This tissue paper is going to be so nice. Let me just take out one. You can take out one, Danielle. So, that's my custom tissue paper. I'm so hyped. And I never really realized how much I like doing stuff like this. How I, I'm a creative at heart. I like art. I like to draw. I like to paint. Um, I like to do makeup. That stuff is fun for me. Just the, the transformation that I can make with my own hands. So creating an idea in my brain and then being able to translate it to tissue paper. My G. It's amazing. It's a fulfilling feeling for me. And um, so that's going to be in the packages. And I'm going to show you the boxes that I've purchased. I'm trying to use this one piece of tissue paper, so I'm trying to <laughs> slide it back in there without having it wrinkled. So yeah, that's my branded tissue paper. And then, let me show you. Over here is my little like business section of my closet. That's my printer. That's the printer that I use to print the um the sticker labels. And then behind here i have two boxes the two boxes that i will be shipping one is a small box i'm i'm shipping accessories so honestly the box probably weighs more than the earrings or the headband so everything is gonna be pretty light so i got these two sizes um so if you order a lot a lot you want to get this box if you order a little bit and you want to test us out you want to get this small box and everything's going to be branded i'm working on getting um, like a rectangular sticker to go right here that has it says the vault on it 
just like that i think that would be nice right and then i can kind of skip the packet ta packing tape um these right here are the bag chains that i made with my own bare hands okay these are handmade they are amazing um they're going to be used they can be used as handles for your bags decorations bag accessories for your bags and they're just beautiful like the chains are in so i'm so proud of these and these honestly when i post them on my instagram they get the most commotion so really excited about those i'm really excited about those and have this like marble color which i'm going to order more of to make more because i gifted some my friend one and that left me with one so obviously i'm gonna sell out so <laughs> i need to order some more but yeah that's what we have going so far so I figured I would I figured I would just take you guys along with me let you sit on my desk while I work um right now I'm working on the back end of my website um working on getting my shipping together making sure that when you guys order like I'm able to ship um I'm I'm using Shopify as my store and it's not hard to use um it's taking me a long time. I think I text my friend to let her know that I was going to be starting an online boutique in September 2020. And from there, it's taken this long. We're in July. Well, we're in June. We're at the end of June. I'm launching July 2nd. So we're in July, two months shy of a year, and I'm launching. So that just goes to tell you that how long... It typically will take for you to get your product in, um, figure out your marketing strategy, which I'm barely doing that. <sighs> it's a lot. It's a lot. But what keeps me going is the fact that I know it's mine. And when it gets to that point where it's beautiful and I know that it's mine, I'm going to look back and appreciate all the brainstorming, all the preparing, all the communication that I did for my brand and um i'm just i'm just excuse me if i'm rambling i'm just really excited and um i just know that it's going to be great it's going to work out um i'm going to have support from whoever chooses to buy and i just have to keep my head down and keep work like keep at it don't give up if i get one sale on the day of my launch like i'm happy I'm really happy because that that means okay if, if there's one there's two and if there's two there's four and if there's four there's eight and if there's eight there are 16 okay so i just know that it's gonna work and that's all i keep telling myself that's all i keep telling myself it's gonna work danielle yeah you're scared it's gonna work yeah you're nervous it's gonna work it's gonna work it has to work or it has to work i think i saw that on my instagram somewhere it has to work or it has to work that's it so anyways um i'm going to set you guys up so that you can i guess watch me work i'm not really i'm at the end we're about to leave for the gym in a few but i'm working on shopify i'm working on shopify i do need to order some tape and working on my shipping making sure that everything is working out Wrist on thinner, waist on thinner. I'ma show you how to bag an eight figure nigga. Face on Friday, pockets on trigger. You better get the car to make it swipe like Tinder. High bit willow in the fire shit chilla. Money post me, all the house gets sicker. Gut boy filler, I don't need fillers. Nope, never been a lame, so the real is So since since I'm launching on July 2nd, which is like a week and a half from today, today's the 24th, um, July 2nd is next Friday. So what I'm doing is making sure that my shipping, um, my shipping process or my checkout process for my customers is working smoothly. Um, I just went in here. I placed, uh, in Shopify, you're able to place like a, um, 
like a test order. You can do a test transaction or whatever. So I turned that on in my Shopify store. And then I did two transactions. I did one for North Carolina, where I'm based out of. And then I did one for out of state. I'm only starting off shipping domestically. So anything anywhere in the United States can shop my products or shop my store. But um, I, I did two transactions to make sure that I'm able to ship. And that checked out right. Um, I have a flat rate shipping on my store just starting off because I think that would be the easiest for me to try and fulfill that and get the, the orders out. I'm only doing one kind of shipping. It's economy. I'm really just starting off at the bare minimum because I need to know what I like and what I don't like. And I've never done this before. So I think that starting off with something that is just the same for everyone um, will cause less confusion for me and make the process, the shipping process easier on my part, on my end. Um, so what I'm doing is making sure my shipping is okay. And I'm going through my website and selecting all options. Like one of the jewelry pieces that I have, um, I'll show you shop jewelry so one of the jewelry pieces that i have right here these gold hoops right here let me these gold hoops i have them in two colors i have them in gold and i have them in silver and when i go to select that item to check out it only gives me an option of silver you see that it only gives me an option of silver so how is my customer supposed to purchase the gold? Like they can't, they can't purchase the gold. It's not available. So I'm jotting that down on my little list in my notebook of things to fix before I launch. So that's what I'm doing today. It's kind of like, um, not a security check, like a, I don't know, like a freaking what do you quality check almost like a quality check when you get a shipment in and you're you're selling clothes say you're selling clothes and you want to make sure that everything you have is up to quality standards before you ship it to your customer i'm doing that for my website especially since i built this website myself like i did everything it may not look you know professional but girl it took me forever to do this so i need to make sure everything is in working order you know, for for my site. And if you hear my phone or uh, my iPad chiming off with messages in the back, girl, I'm still doing real estate over here on the side. So I'm very, very busy and I just want everything to look amazing. Like this right here, that's supposed to be in bold font, okay? I'm not sure why it's not in bold font. I have an attitude about it. Um, So I'm gonna go in and fix that. You know, I just, I'm trying to make sure that everything is looking as good as it can for what i had to do with the website so that's what we're doing good morning guys it is the next day it's friday today hope you guys are doing okay but i not too long ago woke up it i woke up at like 10 o'clock it's 11 12 and last night I was not feeling well. Like my nasal passage was um, blocked. I don't know, it felt like I was coming down with a cold. So, you know, I took some echinacea. I drank some, this tea right here this morning. This ginger and turmeric tea um, to help with inflammation. And right now I'm having a cup of coffee because I have to have my coffee or else I'm gonna get a headache. So. I'm making coffee this morning and Fridays um I usually take it really easy it like puts me into a weekend state of mind because I do sometimes work on like Sundays if I have time so my weekend is kind of cut short so what I do is I start my weekend a little early um so Fridays they're really chill I only do what has to be done um, those are the kids they're coming but today I'm going to be working on some real estate things that I have to do I have to um, send a contract extension addendum um, and that pretty much what that is is well I'll explain later so I have to send out a contract addendum and then a contract extension addendum and then I also have to um, put together my invoices 
um, I'm currently in litigation with one of my properties and I have to put together some invoices, like gather all my receipts, do that. And um, that's pretty much it for the work for real estate that I have to do today. And yeah, so I'm gonna take you guys along with me um, as I go. Excuse my energy, it's kind of low because I just woke up and last night I took medicine and it made me groggy and I hate medicine. So I'm trying to bounce back, but I did want to pop on here and say good morning to you guys. Good morning. Um, I will pull you guys back out. Oh, I want to show you something. This creamer. This Starbucks hazelnut non-dairy creamer. It's almond milk and oatmeal, and it's inspired by the hazelnut latte. Girl, thank me later, because this is the best non-dairy creamer I've ever had. Usually, they're disgusting. So, I was so surprised when I got this, and it tastes amazing. Um, I'm a hazelnut international creamer girl, so this is like pretty much the same thing to me. It has the same kind of taste. So I'm really happy that I found it. I'm actually gonna go to the store today and get two more because I'm sure they can't keep them on the shelves. So yeah, that's what we're doing today and I will pull you guys back out when I have something else going on. Bye-bye. All right, y'all, so I'm about to get to work. It's, oh, look at my mirror. Let me back up, child. <laughs> um, Let me clean that mirror, hold on. All right, I'm back. I cleaned the mirror. So I just want to show you guys my um, OOTD. So I'm going to pretty much be working from home for the first half of my day. Um, like I said, I have to call my seller for um, a contract extension. And then, and that is because we're not able to close on the day that's on the contract. So typically you just request it to extend the closing date and that's done through a contract extension addendum all right so i have to do that and then i have to put together some invoices for another one of my properties that has some litigation going on we're in the process of litigating uh long story girl long story so i have to put together like expenses that i've incurred um or absorbed from through a certain time period so i have to do that i just realized i also have to go to the bank today um, this may be a little TMI, but um, whatever. I need to start sharing because our community needs to know. So um, I pay myself every Friday and I know I can probably do it. Well, the bank that I bank with does not have um, like a mobile deposit situation. So I have to go into the bank and, you know, write myself a check, um, create a nice little paper trail and so that I can um, account for that on my taxes at the end of the year or at the beginning of next year. I just like to make sure all my paperwork is together. Um, you're going to learn if you're into entrepreneurship or if you're starting a business or if you've been in business, tax season is like, ugh. but um, yeah, I pay myself every Friday, no matter what. Um, sometimes when you start a small business you're not able to pay yourself i've been gracious enough not gracious i've been blessed enough to be able to do that with my real estate business um as far as the mom company i have not paid myself yet and that's fine um pretty much is what's happening is my real estate funds the mom company and then pretty soon hopefully i'll be able to gain some income from um, the mom company and then I'll be able to pay myself from both businesses, you know, but until then I'm just, you know, laying low, checking it out. Anyways, this is supposed to be OOTD. So that's what I have to do. And this is why I'm dressed because I just want to be able to get up and go. I have on these biker shorts. Um, I think I purchased these from like Shein a long time ago. I haven't shopped on Shein in a minute and this is probably the last time I shopped on Shein. Um, but these are the biker shorts that I purchased. They go really high. They go higher than this, but girl, look, look how they go. They go really high. And I have on this um, button-up shirt from H&M. It is a two-piece set. I'm just having on the shirt today. And then I have it knotted um, because it is pretty long. And I'm going to put on some shoes. I'm going to put on my, um, my dad sandals, my Chanel dad sandals today. And I'm probably going to carry this blue bag when I do go out to... Um, to the bank 
it's a clutch i got it from target and it's really plush really nice really nice quality and um, i'm probably going to carry that and yeah that's my ootd i don't have any earrings on but i will be putting on earrings that i'm going to be selling in my boutique i'll show you guys I sell these, these curb chain earrings, and I'm going to, I have them in silver. So they are available in silver, or they will be available in silver. Um, pretty much by the time you see this vlog, I should be live. Um, so I will be selling these in silver. So I'm going to put the ones in silver on because I've got silver on. Is that gold or is that silver? Girl, it's gold. It's gold, so I'm going to wear the gold ones. Never mind. Um, excuse me, I'm a little... I'm a little loopy today because I took medicine last night and it just does me in every time. Anyways, I'm going to get to work and I will pull you guys out when something's happening. Okay, so um, I'm going to like kind of verbally walk you guys through um, how I do my contract extension addendums. So on the contract extension, you want to mention the seller, the buyer, and what property you, um, you're buying or, or what property is being purchased. Um, you also want to reference your contract closing date and then reference the new closing date. And if there is some kind of a uh, like mortgage commitment date, like if there's going to be a mortgage involved or some kind of financing involved, you want to mention that as well. However, all my properties are cash properties. So I don't, I, I put that on my template, but I never have to fill it out because all my properties are close or um, cash purchases. So um, first you want to go for, you want to, here, why don't I just show you guys? What I typically do is like just make a Word document, a blank contract extension, and then I save it, convert it to a PDF, and that way I have the PDF to fill out every time I have to do um, a contract extension addendum. You know, so say one deal I have, I don't have to extend the contract, but if I do, I'll always have this blank document saved as a PDF, and I could just fill in, you know, the seller information, the buyer information, property, all da 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 da. And then what I'll do is I'll send it to the seller to sign. And we'll agree upon, you know, what date to extend the contract out to and we'll have it signed. And then I submit it to my closing attorney. It's pretty simple. Um, I don't really like to extend the contract. I like to be able to close when I want to close, you know. So this is kind of just like extra in case you need to have it. But it's always good to have just, you know, your PDFs ready to go. Um, in this case, I only have, I don't know why, but I only have all my PDFs that have been filled out with my previous sellers. So right now I'm making sure to make a blank template, save it, and then I'll um, I'll open it in, in a PDF form and fill it out. So that's just the long but short part of it, the short of it. <laughs> but I just wanted to share that with you in case you are in real estate and you need to extend. If you do have an agent, your agent can also do this for you. I have an agent as well, but Girl, I could just get it done faster myself, you know? So, I'm just a, I just do this, okay? I just do this. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch gonna make me. <laughs> Hey girl, what's up? It's it's Monday. I think the last time I spoke to you guys it was Thursday. But um I hope you guys had a great weekend. And today I am putting together I got that cart situation just so that I can organize like my scale, my Rolo printer, um, my shipping supplies, tape, packing paper, tissue paper, 
um, all of that stuff. I just want to try and be as organized as I can because I'm not really good at organization and um, I find myself having to clean up every time I want to be productive, you know? Every time it's time for me to do something, I have to, I find myself like cleaning up first. So to eliminate that and to make like shipping as easy as possible, um, I figured that I would get this cart. Um, I got it from Michaels. It was about 50 bucks. Honestly, I think it's a little short, but I think it'll do what, it, what we need it to do to get orders out in a timely fashion. And just to make sure that all my supplies are just in one place and I'm not like, where's this and where's that? Where did I put this? Where Everything will be on the cart. So I'm just going to set you guys up so that I can open this and y'all about to see me struggle because my husband's not here and i don't put stuff together ever ever already struggling Excuse me if I'm talking low. The kids are still sleeping because I'm up early. But um, that's my cart. And I'm going to put like my printer up here. I'll show you guys. So obviously I'll have to put it near an uh, outlet. But I can put my little scale up here um, to weigh things. And this is so like I can be mobile around my house and still get work done. Um, I have like these little, I have these little, um, cards, I have these little cards, like, um, business cards, not business cards, but like thank you cards, um, and I can like store them here. I haven't, I don't know how I'm going to organize it, but I just know that this will help me get organized. Like my, my Rolo printer can go up here with the paper that it uses to print. I could put like my my scissors up here, you know, just so I can be organized. I'll be just trying to be organized. But yeah, so that's all I'm doing. Um, I think I'm going to end the vlog here and I'll pick up somewhere else once other things start to start popping off but right now i'm just kind of like tying up loose ends because my launch is on friday i think i want to do a video like with all my products you know like a cute little sit down video showing you guys what i'll be launching and coming out with like this is for me i think it's like a soft launch i don't i haven't advertised it as a soft launch but to me it's a soft launch just so i can feel my way around and see what i like see what i don't like um yeah just kind of like feel my way around this like online e-commerce situation because it's very intimidating um it's my first time I've never done anything like this and I just always known that I wanted to do something like this so I'm just like a kid trying to figure out what's up so um I thank you guys for watching if you haven't already make sure you click the subscribe button down below so that you never miss an upload from me I'm gonna try to get this up on Wednesday no no Today's Monday. I'm going to try to get this up tomorrow because I think it's important. So um, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye bye.